Hello creators! In this activity, we're going to mess up a piece of music. Yes, that's what we're going to do. We're going to reverse it, we're going to make it from stereo to mono, we're going to slow it down, and we're going to make it sound like it's on an AM radio. Okay, so if you're doing this activity as part of a course, then at the end, you're going to produce an MP3. You need to make sure you save that MP3 into a safe location so that you can submit it to your instructor for evaluation. Now, let's get started. You'll notice I have Audacity already opened, and I have a file here called muscles.mp3. Now, the place where you found this uh, activity, you'll also find this file, which you can download and you can install it on your desktop, or any, any file folder you want. Okay, so you go to the location of that file, and you drag and drop it directly onto Audacity, and it'll open up. Let's have a quick listen to some of that song. So that is a stereo recording. You can hear it, and you can also see that it has two separate channels of sound. Let's make it into a mono recording. So I'm going to click on the left tab right here to select the entire track, and I'm going to go up to Tracks, and I'm going to go down to Stereo, Track, to Mono. Click it, and now I have one channel of sound. It's a mono recording. Let's listen again. So there you go, now it's a mono recording. Okay, next thing, let's play with our equalization. We want to make sure we have the track selected, and you can do that again by clicking on the tab on the left-hand side. And let's go to our effect menu, and go down to equalization, right here. Equalization. Now you can see we have the EQ curve here, but we want to find one that's in our presets here that sounds like an AM radio and here it is because we want to make this recording sound like it's on an AM radio so we click that and now it gives us a, a curve that's already pre-done for us and it's AM radio curve make sure you have that selected in your select curve pull down then click OK now let's have a listen Now it sounds kind of strange. It sounds like it's on an AM radio. Okay, so now let's keep going. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to slow it down. Let's slow this down. So we're going to click again on the tab, make sure we have the entire track selected, and let's go back to our effect menu, and let's go down to change tempo. Now tempo is how many beats per minute, or we should say how many how, what's the speed of the music. Not to be confused with change speed. We don't want that one. We want change tempo. Because if we mess with the speed, then we're going to change the pitch as well. And we don't want to do that. So change tempo. Let's click that. Now we can change the tempo as much as we want. We can make it go faster by going into the positive numbers with the slider. Or we can go into the negative numbers and make it slower. Let's slow it down by 20%. Right there. And you can also enter the, the numbers in manually here as well. Click OK. Now let's have a listen. There you go, it's slowed down. Now, the final coup de grace. To the, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to reverse it. So let's click on the tab again to make sure it's entirely in the track is entirely selected. And let's go to effect again. And let's go down to reverse. Reverse right there. And you click it. Now let's listen. That is messed up. That is messed up. So, there you go. We've reversed it. We've changed the equalization to make it sound like it's on an AM radio. We slowed it down. And we made it from stereo into mono. Now, if you are doing this for a course, you are going to need to export this now as an MP3 so you can be evaluated and get a mark. So you need to go up to the file menu, go down to export. And you want to choose MP3 as your file format and you click options you can choose your quality level here I'm gonna stick with 128 but it's up to you you can use whatever you like I don't go with too high a level for things like this because it's just a little activity and you don't need it to be super high quality okay and let, then let's give it a name let's call this muscles and then my, uh, my name Andrew Mercer so that your instructor will know who you are okay and then we hit save and we get metadata. 
You can choose to fill this metadata in if you want. I'm not going to bother. And if you're not sure about how to export MP3s or do metadata, there's two separate tutorials here in this series on how to do that. Click OK. And there you go. Now I have a new file called Muscles Andrew Mercer. And of course, you have to put your own name in there. So that's it. So you can now use all these effects to, to change music all you want. So good luck with that, and I'll see you next time.